Firstly, I'm taking Max Painterly Paint Pot and applying that to my eyelids just to make sure any redness and discoloration is covered up. And then I'm taking Max Pigment in Teal and a Mac 266 brush. I'm going to be swapping between this liner brush and another flat shader brush from um, the Urban Decay Electric palette. And I'm just going to use this to very gradually build a point. And as you can see, I've just swapped over to that tiny flat shader brush from the Electric palette. And I'm basically just applying that to the inner third of my lid then I'm just going to blend that out so it fades towards the centre of my lid. Then taking my angled brush, I'm just going to define that point a little bit more. And then I'm just going to repeat on the other eye. I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush, I think this is a Real Techniques brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. Taking my angled liner brush, once again, I'm just going to create a winged liner to start with, and then I'm just going to build that colour up in the outer corner. And basically what I want to do is add colour to the inner and outer corners of my eyes and leave the middle blank or bare, which is why I applied that Max Painterly paint pot, just to make sure that I had no discoloration there. I guess this is kind of a graphic look with all the wings and the points, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that even though we are using one eyeshadow, we can still make it look super, super interesting. I'm taking the angled liner brush again, and I'm just going to create a wing on my lower lash line, and I'm just going to drag that shadow underneath my lower lash line, and join it up to the wing on my outer corner. I have sped this up because it took me quite a while. Um, you do need quite a steady hand in order to do it, especially with pigment. Um, but I really like the way it turned out. Next I'm going to be taking my OCC colour pencil in Tarte and I'm going to be lining my waterline and my tie line. And then I'm taking my angled brush once again, I've cleaned it off and I'm just going to apply a very, very thin line to my upper lash line, just to add a bit more intensity. Then with mascara, I'm going with my current favourite, the Max Factor Glamour Extensions, and I'm just going to apply a good few coats of that. Blush, I'm using the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Blush in School. I love this stuff. And then for highlight, I'm using my Too Faced Candle Light Glow, because I want it to be a softer highlight than say the Balm's Merry Luminizer, which is a bit more extreme. And for lips, I wanted something nude and simple, so I went for the Drive Me Nude Color Rush Lasting Finish Lip Pencil thing by Rimmel. And that is the finished look, so I hope you like this one shadow graphic-ish style look. I don't really know what to call it, but it's just something I wanted to show you um, to make it more interesting. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.